fall goes according to plan on the 21st of October, Kenya will have another world first. Ordinary Kenyans will be able to buy treasury bonds on their mobile phones, and the product that will let them do so is called M Akiba. It roughly connotes to something like mobile saving. And it is the latest expansion of Safaricom's payment platform, M-Pesa. Earlier today, when I spoke to the company's CEO, Bob Collymore, I asked him what exactly sparked the creation of this bond trading platform. I think it, it rather builds on the need for deepening financial inclusion, that's on, on the one hand, and, and the other, it's the need for Treasury to get money more cost effectively. And I think when Treasury looked at the amount of money which is coming into things like Mshwari, yeah. they realized that actually there's a lot of cash in the, in the informal sector. And you know, why not tap into that rather than go overseas? So the challenge has always been trying to move away from institutional buyers and trying to get the retail sector in, into yeah. play. And I'm sure he's done that particularly well because, I mean, looking at the numbers that I, I last looked at, and this was up to March 2015, um, 3 million active 30-day clients, that's essentially almost double on a year-on-year -year basis, 5.5 billion shillings in deposits, um, non-performing loan ratio that, frankly, any bank would envy at about 2%. Um, what sort of numbers are you looking at in terms of the sort of clients, the uptick you're looking at for Makiba? If you look at the, uh, the KCB numbers in addition to the CBA numbers, you know, there, there's several billion shillings which are currently sitting on deposit. Um, I, I, as you said, Mshari has got um, five billion, I think was the last number. Um, KCB is ramping pretty quickly up behind that. Uh, so there's, there's quite a lot there. And, and I think that the interest rates which these bonds are likely to come out at, we don't know what that is yet, but the interest rates which um, governments are likely to pay will be very attractive for the retail investor. So what exactly will, be, will people be able to buy once Emma Kiba goes online? Is it just treasury bills or treasury bills and bonds? It's treasury bonds. Only bonds? Yeah. Initially. And it's buy to hold? It's, well, it's buy to hold, so we're launching it as a primary, but we will launch a secondary, I think, within a very short period after that, so that you can trade the bonds as well. Uh, what about the structure behind this? I mean, this, this, given how the bond market works, this must have been really intense, it's creating the market architecture behind that, because you've got to link banks, mobile accounts, the CDSC, obviously, and the central bank at the same time. How do these four entities interface with each other? We've been working on this platform for quite some time. Uh, and we envisage that you know, it'll also be used for buying and selling sh um, shares and securities on the NSE. So we've been working on it for you know, kind of more than a year. So when government came along and the other partners came along, uh, we sat down and figured out you know, who's doing what. Our element is the mobile handset and the M-Pesa platform. What about the share element, when's that going to coming along? Um, well, let's get this one out of the way first, and uh, you know, we'll see. It's available initially only to M-Pesa account holders? Initially only to M-Pesa account holders, but I believe Treasury will open up to the other mobile money platforms around. Why 3,000 shillings, or what is it, $30 now? Why was that settled at the floor, yeah? What is that, uh, where was that settled at the floor? Which is coming from the four, I think it's $500 was the minimum you could buy before. Actually, slightly higher than that. Is it higher than that? 100,000 shillings, about $1,000. It's intended to reach into the, um, you know, to the lower income, uh, low income uh, customers and, and citizens. So, you know, it could it have been less where this becomes economically viable? Below, below $30. What about transaction costs? If, if I put in that um, 3,000 shillings at $30, then what sort of transaction costs will I incur as a buying client? We'll, we'll disclose that in the next uh, couple of weeks or so, uh, but it will be a lower transaction cost than, than standard M-Peso transactions.